I grew up about 20 miles outside of Philadelphia, and I always knew that I wanted to do biomedical research, and, and specifically cancer research. Victor's a total Brody. He came in young, full of ideas, full of ambitions, no guardrails. He really had ambitions to not just develop great technology, but to really see it have impact on patients, in particular cancer patients. What my group has focused on is really unlocking comprehensive profiling of the cancer genome in patients with advanced cancers, with drug-resistant tumors, who are failing therapy, who need better ways to select the next therapies they should be taking, as well as we as a community need better ways to understand why their treatments are failing so that we can develop better drugs that can help either the existing patients today or uh, the patients of tomorrow. Being able to sample their tumors from a simple blood draw has opened the door to molecular profiling at various types and stages of disease that would otherwise be inaccessible. I think Victor's not going to be satisfied until and unless we really have impact on patients. He's excited by the technology and the results of today and tomorrow, but he really wants to see this applied in a useful way. So I think he won't rest until that happens. Really almost all of us here uh, have had uh, some connection or, or impact of cancer and, and I think we can all relate. Multiple times per week I'm over at uh, Dana-Farber, MGH, um, and partnering hospitals, walking through the hospital, seeing um, all the patients going for their, their treatments, knowing that um, the technologies and approaches we're developing could have a uh, both immediate and long-term impact on patients is um, what really motivates us. Many people at his stage of their career focus on what can they do to get their next great paper, get their next position, their promotion, and so on. He's, in a very selfless way, said, how can I bring together a community that's really going to move the needle in a substantial way? The Broad really supports the young scientists and really puts a lot of trust in us, too, in that the culture really promotes high-risk science. So basically putting the scientific problem first and, and then figuring out, okay, well, how do we accomplish this? And, and if the science is compelling enough, uh, we'll find a way.